The latest on the virus emergency. Hospitals are nearly 80% full nationwide. Faith Abube is at the University of New Mexico Hospital where the situation is becoming dire. Good morning, Faith. Hey, good morning to you, Robin. The clash of the flu, RSV, and COVID has overwhelmed hospitals all across New Mexico. Here at this particular hospital, you can see they've set up an emergency triage center right outside the emergency room. This is a tent. They're treating this as another emergency room. Come on over here. Let me show you what's going on. You can see when patients arrive, they can check in over here. The situation is so dire. This allows them to have more space to screen patients. They are told to then go over here where doctors can screen them and determine determine the course of treatment. If they need to lie down, they are able to go around the corner here where there are beds set up. They've been over 100% capacity for several weeks now in the ICU. The hospital's chief medical officer is telling us that this is the worst situation he's seen in his years of medicine, even worse than the peak of COVID. Nationwide, nearly every state is reporting very high or high levels of flu-like activity. Hospital beds are nearly 80% full. The wait times are low Long, and doctors are pleading with people to only go to the ER when it is a life-threatening emergency. But medical experts believe there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is the fact that it's not too late to get your COVID booster shot. It's not too late to get your COVID vaccine. And they're advising people where you're indoors to put your mask back on. Michael? It is not too late, Faith. Thank you so much for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.